Hey, 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 what's up, champions? Good evening, here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today, I wanted to talk to you about how to get better results uh, when speaking to your potential customers or potential business partners. So if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. If you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, please do say new in the comments as well. And if you get value from this or think somebody else might find it useful, of course, feel free to share this video or maybe tag those people into the comments below. So uh, this morning, I wanted to share with you a strategy called future pacing. Now, this strategy um, helps your potential customer or potential team member to visualize um, how will it be after using your product or after being in your business and really helps you to sell the product or to sell the business opportunity to the person um, with their own help. <laughs> right. So imagine that you're speaking to a potential customer about a weight loss product. Right. Now, you could say this weight loss product is amazing and it has vitamin A and B and C and D and every vitamin under the sun. Right. And all of that. And, and that's all all fine and great, etc. Right. But one very powerful question to ask is to ask the person, how would you feel after losing whatever amount of weight they want to lose? So. Obviously, before that, it would be great to ask them, right? How much weight would you like to lose? And let's say they say, well, I'd love to lose 10 kilos, right? Amazing, right? So if you were to use this product and lose those 10 kilos, how would that make you feel? How would you feel about that? What would change in your life? What would you do differently then? What, what clothes would you wear, right? What is this doing? This is called future pacing. It gets your potential customer to think as if they've already been using the product. Think as if they've already achieved the result. And who wouldn't like that, right? And the sound was saying when they start telling you all the things that will happen once your product has worked for them and once they have achieved, don't you think they're going to want to buy the product? And same with the business opportunity, right? Imagine you're speaking to somebody and you and you ask for their goals, right? So they share with you that they would like to, you know, take the kids to the Disneyland and they would like to buy the dream home. Or maybe they'd like to buy that dream car or, or help their husband to retire from his work, etc. And again, imagine if you ask that person, so great. Imagine now you start with a company and, you know, six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, you achieve those goals. You achieve those results. How would you feel? What would you do differently? How would you behave? How would your life change if all of those things you told me would be ticked off? That's, again, it's future pacing. It gets the person to think of what will happen in the future. So now, instead of trying to convince them, instead of trying to drag them into the business screaming and kicking, they want to start your business. They are eager to start your business because now they've seen what this could become. Now they've seen what could happen in the future if they did this business. Can you understand how powerful the strategy is? Yes, it takes a bit of time. Yes, it takes a bit of you know discipline to remember to do this thing with your potential prospect. But think about how much more would that person want to do your business or want to use your product if they already saw themselves after getting the result. So that's a quick tip about future pacing today. Hope you got value from this. If you did, feel free to share it. Have a great rest of your day. And if you'd like more cool, awesome training, click on the link in the description of this video and you'll find some stuff there too. Bye-bye. See you at the top.